What's up guys, it's Hannah. I'm back from my second year at University of Washington, which is super exciting. And I'm filming here in my front yard at my house because tomorrow is my move-in day. This year I'm going to be living in a on-campus apartment, which is a little bit different than the residence hall that you guys saw last year. So Stevens Court, the apartment I'm going to be living in, has four bedrooms. So I'm gonna have three other roommates and we're all gonna have our own rooms, but we're gonna share a shared kitchen area as well as a shared living room and bathrooms. And now I'm gonna dive into this move-in process, packing up my stuff and moving it into my apartment. Good morning, it's really early right now, I'm very tired, but we're loading up the car right now. So it's got some clothes and things and we're gonna finish packing up right now so that we can get on the road and head up to the University of Washington. We're on the road, my mom's driving, she's got her UW shirt on, gotta represent, and we got all the stuff loaded in the back. I get to move in around 8 a.m., but make sure to check your email from Housing and Food Services to see what time your move-in time is. Um, so we're on the road, we gotta drive up to Seattle, and then move all my stuff in. Okay, so it's been a couple days, but I just wanted to show you all my room. So right now, um, I finished decorating everything. I am a little sick right now, so that's why my voice sounds a little funny. But I still wanted to show you everything about my apartment and my room. So right here, um, when you walk into my room, is the door. But right next to it is this big closet. You can see it's pretty big. It also has shelves up there. And I moved this dresser in there that holds some of my pants and I put my laundry basket in there. I also put this gallery wall um, that has some pictures and things like that. Um, welcome to my husky home. Um, I ordered this shelf from Home Depot and it just has my plants on there with some twinkle lights. Um, and then my desk is over here this actually comes out you can pull it out so it could be next to the desk if you wanted to or not and i have this again um my kind of like stationary holder i have some fake flowers right there my lamp and my calendar here is my bed um i have a different comforter this year and then i hung up that cork board back there this actually came with the room it's kind of like a cork board if you can see um but you can like put pins in it so i just hung these little card things up there that my mom made for me and then at the end of my bed i have this where i am putting some more clothes or any other like bags and stuff like that I also added this rug, which is a nice addition just because the floor is carpeted, except it's not very like fuzzy, it's pretty standard. So this just offers a little bit of fuzz um, and fluffiness. When you go out of my room, here is the bathroom. So we have the sink out here, and then the toilet and the shower in here. The layout for this apartment is going to be basically mirrored on the other side. So it's going to be me and three other roommates, two on each side of the apartment. So here I have my room right here. And then over here is going to be my other roommate. And so just for perspective, that's my room. The bathroom's right here. And then you come this way and this is my other roommate. And then this is the front door. And if you go down, down this hallway, there is two rooms and it looks the exact same. This is actually a big kind of pantry. Um, so I'll turn the lights on. 
this is a big pantry um it has this huge thing um, that i'm just using to store extra food in if you come out here you can kind of walk it's actually wood floors in here um i don't know what other siemens court apartments look like but ours is like this this is our kitchen and our living room and then i have this tv that i have not yet decided where to put and this table with four chairs for four of us the cool thing about our kitchen is that it actually you can get around both sides. There's also lots and lots of storage. That's really great because with four people living in this apartment, we're probably gonna need a lot of storage and we can kind of divide it up equally if we want to or kind of share it all together. It doesn't really matter. Whatever you and your apartment mates choose to do is great. Also something I wanna point out, there is an oven, a microwave, and a fridge and freezer, um, but there is no dishwasher. So that was something I had to take into account. So that's why I bought this it is a drying rack so I can just wash my dishes in the sink and then put them in the drying rack I hope you all enjoyed this video I had so much fun and I was so excited to live in this on-campus apartment this year it's a great option for uh, residents who want to stay on campus um, also I want to point out that Stevens Court has lots of buildings and lots of apartments and lots of people um, and each apartment is going to be unique in its own way so your apartment may look a little bit different than what mine looked like today so just keep that in mind when moving into your apartment also if you are looking more into what a residence hall looks like definitely check out my other video um, I give a tour of what it was like to live in Willow Hall in a three-person suite that I posted last year this year we're going to be doing Doing a lot of guest vlogs so showcasing other stories from University of Washington students and residents so make sure to check those out by liking this video and subscribing to our channel so you get all the updates I'll see you next time bye